Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen War Gamers and welcome back to the Battle Bunker. So this video, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I paint my epic Napoleonic French. Now, uh, this video's um, not going to be an in-depth, um, fantastic um, painted models at the end of it. It's just my way of speed painting uh, to get, because you know there's so many to do, to get on, my, on the table quick, ready uh, to go. So here's the stand I already done. Now if we focus in, it'll take it. Uh, you can see there's not much uh, stuff on there, uh, but it's just enough. So when they're on the table, uh, sorry about the lighting again, uh, it's gone a bit dark outside, started to rain. Um, when they're on the table, it's good enough so you can see who they are. And um, yeah, so right, what I'm gonna do, so that's the painted one. I'm going to get the stand I'm going to work on, uh, which is this one here. And basically what I do is prime on black first, so that way anything I miss uh, is all just part of the shadow. Now I only use six paints um, for the, the models, um, with a seventh being, um, I'll just show you, the Goblin Green, which is for the base. So on the table I've got Flat Earth, Stormwall Grey, Ultramarines Blue, Dark Flesh, Tan Earth, and um, Deep Sky Blue. Okay, so like I say, um, you know, if, if you want to see fantastically painted models, there's thousands of people who do them out there, really good people. Uh, this isn't one of them. So, okay, let's get stuck in. First of all, I'm going to go with the Ultramarines Blue. Just see if we can keep things on frame. I've got the camera right in front of me. So basically I'm just looking at the screen and I have to look round, see the models. Just shaking the paint up now, uh, just off one side. We got a little painting palette. So I'm putting some of the blue on there. Don't need much. Right, now what I do, um, I've got a number one brush. So I'll dip that into the paint straight in. No watering down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is paint over them and I'm trying not to get above the neck or below the bottom of the trousers. Uh, so I'm going to do this without. So it's basically just going straight across. Keep that in focus. Just under the necks. Okay, so it's sort of like that. So what I'll do, because uh, it's a bit of a pain with this camera like this, uh, I'll just carry on with that and I'll show you when I finish the blue. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so that's the ultramarine blue done, as you can see. Now I meant to say about the trousers, don't matter if you get them on there or not, because the trousers are going to be white on these guys. But as you can see, I've tried to get underneath uh, their chins, um, and I've also done the back as well. Now on these uh, French, I'm not bothered about getting the backpacks, but with the British, because they've got black, um, the more colours we can leave that we don't have to do, uh, the, the better it is for it. And I'm not going to be bothered about colouring hair or anything like that. So it's just the, the main blue of the jacket. Okay, so next up, uh, what I'm going to do is just a, a little highlight. And that's going to be using the uh, sky blue, deep sky blue. So, okay, what I'll do is um, I'll go away again. Just do that, and it's very lightly, uh, just a quick go over, um, just to pick out some of the detail on the blue. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so that's the uh, deep sky blue, and as you can see, it's just, because the, the rifles are obviously going to get um, a different colour as well, but it's just a quick go at putting some uh, lighting on it as well. Uh, this is all being done... Uh, real time, <coughs> only pausing the video while I do the painting as well, uh, which doesn't take, you know, a minute less. Um, so you'll have a fair idea how long it takes. And if you do it in batches, like I like to do it in a batch of uh, two, four, six, eight, eight stands, um, you, you'll see how quick it is. Okay, next off, uh, I'm going to do the flesh. The reason we're doing the flesh next is because if it goes on to the, where the rifle is going to be painted, um, obviously you can uh, paint over that to cover that up. And again, the flesh is just going to be dotting it in. And for this, I'm using the dark flesh. Okay, so see you in a second. 
Okay, so sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Uh, so as you can see, that's the flesh. Um, see how close you can get it. It's just blobbed on. Uh, I'm not going to use any shading or anything like that because the black underneath will help with that. And obviously, when you get further away, ooh, you know you, you can't see the difference, but you can see, you know, it's flesh, and they've got blue for Russians, uh, Russians, French. Okay, so next up is going to be the rifles, and for this, I'm going to use flat earth, and this is just striping up the rifles uh, where you can see. And when I do the back, sorry, there you go. When I do the back of the rifles, I'll just be take, be painting the top half, so I'm not going to try and get in anywhere else. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that next. Flat earth uh, for the rifles. See you soon, guys. Okay, so that's the <coughs> rifles done. And as you can see, all I did was start from the top and do a line straight down and obviously just touch up where, where the rifle butts are. And then on the other side, I've just done the, the, the top half. And obviously, you know, the further away, you know, it, it looks okay. Okay, so next up is um, my magic pen. And I got these off Amazon. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but they're like, like a gel pen. And they, they, they work and dry like paint. Just see if it come out on my finger there, like that. And I've got it in uh, like a gold color. So if I'm doing any brass, I can use that as well. So I'm going to try on camera. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work, looking at the model and trying to keep in focus and everything like that. And sorry, just let me put my special magnifying glasses on because uh, my eyes are terrible. I need to go and the opticians. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a dot just on the, the top of the hat for their pom-poms or whatever they're called. There you go, and as you can see, like that. And then on the straps, I'm sorry, I'm going to go off camera because I'm trying to see. Just do it on this one guy here. So there you go, that's your straps done. And then for the trousers, you just look. So I've had the blue there. I'm sorry, I'm really off camera because I'm trying to look this around the side. Just go around with the trousers where the pen can reach that's all you need there you go and <clears throat> as you go further away obviously it looks like he's got white trousers on okay what i'm going to do is go away uh, do the rest of these and uh, be back soon okay so that's the white pen done so as you can see from a distance you look all right i've uh, done the back as well now, if this was the front rank, I wouldn't bother with any back detail. And if it's the rear rank, I wouldn't bother much with the lower half of the white, just do straps. And um, for all the um, Napoleonic enthusiasts uh, with different colours and stuff like that, for the pom-poms on top of the hats and everything like that, these will take paint on the top of them. But for me, um, you know, the gaming pieces. Um, so that's fine with me. And where I've put the, the white on their, their hats, um, you could use the uh, gold colour or whatever. But like I say, the white will take paint uh, on them quite good. Okay, two more things to do. So next up, I'm going to do the backpacks. Now for the backpacks, I'm going to use the um, store, uh, tan earth. Sorry, tan earth for the backpacks. Okay, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so that's the tan earth on the backpacks done. Um, basically, this is still wet. Uh, what we'd normally do is uh, wait until they're dry and then using the white pen, oops, uh, just do the straps on there. And also the cartridge cases, I've not done on these, uh, I do them in white as well, just something else to stand out a bit more. Okay, next up is the bayonets. Now, what I do with the bayonets is I don't use a um, uh, metallic color. Um, like you can see on here, I use Stonewall Grey. Um, it just, I don't know, it just makes them stand out a bit more so you can see them. Um, but yeah, you, you could use, like I say, you can use whatever colours you want. But for me, this is my speed painting just to get them on the tabletop um, because, like, they're so small being epic. 
Um, I just want to get them done so I can start playing with them. I'll say I've had them since they first came out, the box set. Okay, so I'll go away, do the bayonets, and I'll see you in the set. Okay, so you're going to get in focus. By the whole hand trick. So there's the bayonets done as well. So basically, that's everything. Like I said, I've just got her um, because it's still drying. Like I said, I'm doing this in real time, just pausing it when I put the paint on. Uh, I'll do the straps at the back and then the bases, um, which is Goblin Green. Good old Goblin Green. So they'll end up like that. Okay. Um, yeah, like I say, uh, this is um, a quick way of doing it just to get the um, figures on. And if you've seen in my past video, uh, something different for uh, Epic Black Powder. Um, what I'm doing, um, because there's so much to do, I'm doing one regiment is one stand. So this is one stand. Um, just bear with me a sec. Uh, somebody shouting me in the background. Just hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my grandchildren have just turned up. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, finish off because they're shouting for me. So yeah, one stand is one regiment. So four stands is a brigade. One cannon and a brigade commander. Uh, if you look back at that video... Uh, and uh yep yeah, see all that so what i'll do i've got all my french painted out out now so i've got uh, three battalions uh sorry three brigades um of four one stand per regiment and four regiments each okay um sorry to end this quick but uh the grandchildren are screaming for me <laughs> what i'll do is i'll put some photographs on of the finished products and uh you can take it from there like i say this is only very very quick get some models on the table and whoops knock it out of my own hand so thanks for watching guys and um, remember to make it paint it and play it see you again soon and hopefully uh, no kids screaming in the background for me okay bye now have a good one